Well, guys, it's the August 18 primary is getting closer every day. We're getting questions from gun owners about this primary right on the outside edge, the southern corner of Cheyenne, house seat number 43. It's this area right here, right on the bottom side of Cheyenne. The current incumbent here is Dan Zwanitzer, and he's being challenged by John Harvey. So we're getting questions from gun owners. Who is the pro-gun candidate? Where do these candidates stand? And it's a great question to ask because Dan Zwanitzer has done all he can, other than protecting that baby face, <laughs> he's, he's done all he can to hide his record to hide the truth about where he stands on the Second Amendment. He wants you to believe he's a champion for gun owners, and he's not. Here's the deal. In 2019, we were trying to get rid of gun-free zones here in Wyoming on government property. Dan Zwanitzer was a no vote on this bill, January 31st, 2019. Absolutely had a chance to stand up, vote properly on a gun bill. He was a no vote. He stood up the House Democrats and the most liberal moderates in Cheyenne and opposed our gun rights. He's also never, and I mean never willing, to co-sponsor pro-gun bills. He refused to co-sponsor a standard ground law in 2018. For, for context, 43 House members co-sponsored that bill. I asked Dan, he wouldn't even think about it. <clears throat> weird, weird deal. Refused to co-sponsor campus carry legislation in 2017, House Bill 136. This bill would allow students, adult students, uh, faculty, staff, teachers, etc., who were lawfully allowed to own firearms to carry on campus because we all know gun-free zones are deadly. He refused to sponsor or co-sponsor that bill. We asked him to repeal another bill in 2017, or co-sponsor rather, a bill in 2017, gun-free zone repeal. We have a problem right now in the state where government buildings are being deemed off limits to gun owners just because. And it's wrong and, it's and it needs to be fixed. This bill, HB 137, would have fixed all that in 2017. Dan Zwanser, again, refused to co-sponsor. You see, Dan has this figured out. He does what he thinks is just enough to tell everybody he's pro-gun and then he sits back and waits to see what's gonna happen. He's a consummate uh, water carrier for House leadership, specifically Speaker Harshman. That's Dan Zwanitzer. Now over here, uh, we have John Harvey. Now besides a massive facial hair difference between these two guys, you've got a real difference when it comes to their views in the Second Amendment. Because John Harvey surveyed with WIGO 100% pro-gun. Dan Zwanzer continues to refuse to sign his very simple 10 question questionnaire from Wyoming gun owners, but John Harvey did. And so we know then that objectively, John Harvey is opposed to red flag gun seizures. Zwanzer won't say where he stands on red flags. We know that Harvey's opposed to any attempt to ban the AR-15. We can't get an answer out of Zwanzer on that either. We know that John Harvey's opposed to fix Nick's mental health gun control. Again, Zwanser won't say where he stands on that. Harvey's also opposed to waiting periods, gun-free zones, all of these gun control bills. He's publicly opposing them, but Dan Zwanser simply will not give us an answer on where he is on these bills. Very troubling stuff from Dan Zwanser. Lastly, with John Harvey, he also signed our leadership pledge. When we survey candidates, we give them a leadership pledge that they have the option to sign. And it simply says that, you know, I'm not just going to be a safe vote for gun rights. I'm going to lead the charge by sponsoring pro-gun bills. I'm going to sponsor, you know, uh, and lead the charge for gun rights, not just sit back and play it safe. And John Harvey signed the WIGO leadership pledge this year pledging to support pro-gun bills and to only support pro-gun candidates uh, in future primaries across the state. And again, Dan Zwanser will not do any of these things, any of these things. So at best, Zwanser tries to play it safe. At worst though, Dan's voting against your gun rights, folks. Voting against your gun rights right here, January 2019, refuses to lift a finger, won't co-sponsor anything of substance when it comes to our gun rights, even when dozens of his fellow caucus members did. 
and he's refusing to sign the survey, which is so important as we enter this time now where more and more Republicans are okay with gun control, we have to know where these candidates stand. And if they refuse the survey, it's a very dangerous sign that that candidate, if elected, uh, would likely decide to, to betray gun owners. That's why in most cases they refuse to sign the candidate survey. So again, <clears throat> this is for HD 43. We're talking the south corner, southeast corner of Cheyenne. If you live there, or live nearby there, have family or friends there, show them this video. Make sure they know that John Harvey's 100%, 100% for your gun rights, but Dan Zwanitzer, anything but. Show them this, make sure they're aware of it, and guys, to join WIGO, we need you now. Go to joinwigo.com and get involved today. Thank you.